hello. I just wanted to hop on the front really quickly and say a big welcome to Holly and Rhonda, who are the newest members of this channel. I am so happy to have you guys here and I can't wait to get to know you guys better in the comments. Okay, back to shipping. Welcome to Sunday night packing and shipping. So I've got my trusty uh, laundry basket and I've got my list of items and I'm ready to start grabbing them out of inventory to package them up and send them on their way bright and early Monday morning. So these are all sales that took place between like Friday night and into we're now in Sunday afternoon slash early evening. So I had 11 sales between then and now. Um, and I also have three items that sold but are currently still unpaid items. So I'm not gonna pull them. I'll just wait for the people to pay hopefully. And if they don't pay, then um, I guess I'll go ahead and do my unpaid item cases. I've been having quite a few of them recently, I have to say. And actually one item that's sold um, is a bit of a sort of unusual item. And this is the second time that someone has purchased it on a best offer for the same price and not paid. Um, so fingers crossed they actually will pay this time. If not, that's just kind of the name of the game. It's how it happens. But like I said, I'll be leaving them in inventory until they actually do pay. All right, let's get grabbing stuff. Okay, so the first item I think is hiding down here. Oh my goodness me, underneath all of this kind of stuff. I, at least that's why I have a feeling that it is. It's been a while since I've seen it, honestly. It was a one-off. I'd sold a lot and this one was unlike the others. Let me see if I can spot it in here. Just kidding, it's up here. <laughs> <laughs> For all of you lovely people who very kindly pointed out that I may need a little bit of a better system, I could not agree with you more. Um, I have listed more in the last sort of two months than I have, I think, ever listed. My, I have more... Um, active listings that I've ever had. So I'm kind of dealing with that right now. And I'm thinking of purchasing some extra um, storage space, like maybe something to go like a storage shed to go in the backyard. I'm not sure yet exactly how I'm going to deal with that. But right now you, we're in the interim. It's 2020. There's not like I can do much of anything right now anyway. Um, so I'm just kind of working with it. So yes, it's a little bit disorganized, but I do know roughly where everything is and everything is stored sort of carefully. There's no damage or anything like that. So bear with me. It's all I'm saying. Um, okay, so this is what's sold. It is a pack of golf balls, basically. They were brand new. They were sealed inside. Um, and this sold for $17.50 plus shipping. And I paid $1 for these. Okay, next is this item lurking right here. Um, this was a really quick sale. I was very surprised. This is a vintage Marlboro Adventure Team um, tracksuit, basically. So it's like the nylon jacket and the pants. Um, these, I think, were like promos given out with Marlboro, um, like... I guess coupons are like what you could clip off of the packs back in the day. There's quite a few of them listed. They tend to go between 25 and 30. But as you can see, the suit inside was actually fine. But there's a little bit of like discoloration and stuff to the drawstring bag. Anyway, it's sold for 25 on a best offer plus shipping. So I was happy with that. And I paid 75 cents for that one. Okay, so the next thing is something that I was given way back at the beginning of 2020 when I basically ran out of inventory. Some very kind viewers gifted me some of their inventory, which I have to say got me through it, which I just cannot thank those people enough still, even to this day. Um, and so this is one of those items. It's a Ted Baker rose gold sort of belt or waist clincher, whatever you want to call it. So this was free to me. This was very kindly a blessing to me during those difficult times. And it sold for, I think it was 15 plus shipping. Thank you again for that. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Okay, next we have some shoes. They are a pair of Converse. Yes, I know how horrendous this, lo <laughs> this looks. Again, uh, I have my general thing going on. I have like boots and heels up here. I have sort of mules and sneakers. And then I have kind of like some more flats and things going on down here. And then men's at the bottom. So I know my way around it in general. Um, I just need to find the exact pair. Okay, that was not too bad. Found them. These are a pair of Converse. I paid $1 at a yard sale. And they obviously have the cool like zippered side detail. And they sold on Poshmark for 18 In you go. Okay, so the rest of the stuff appears to be clothing, which is a little bit unusual for me nowadays, but that's okay. I'll take it. It's easy to package and to ship. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're in for a bit of an easier night of shipping time-wise than we have been from the last few shipping nights that I've had. Because some of those items, like the big ceramic Christmas tree or um, the Roomba that that I sold. They took a lot of time to package correctly. Um, so yeah, I will definitely take some clothing sales any day. 
All right, I'm starting with D11, which is a Soma tunic, like a shark bite tunic. And um, this was a brand new listing as well, sold really, really quickly. And I think it sold for 15 plus shipping, only paid 50 cents to a dollar for that. Sold in about two days, I think. All right, next is W13. Let me move this giant bag of winter coats. <laughs> All right, there we go. This is pretty much a no-name piece. Um, it was vintage. I think it may have been a wool blend. I can't quite remember, but it had a really cool style to it. It was like a very folksy, artsy, floral kind of crochet type detail all over it. I just thought it was really cool. So I used a bunch of keywords and again, it sold really quickly within like one to two weeks. I paid no more than a dollar for this and it sold for 18 plus shipping. V21, on the hunt for more Miss Me jeans. Found you. Okay. Um, again, just to permit me jeans, I bought a big lot. Well, I say a big lot, about five pairs or so from a yard sale not too long ago, have around five dollars or so per piece into them. And this pair here sold for 35 plus shipping. There you go. All right, get back in. <laughs> it's a lot easier with two hands, I'll tell you that for nothing. All right, all right, all right. Yes. All right, we've got Y18. So that's going to be this one up here. I'm going to have to pull this down in order to try and find the item. All right, I think I see it. Yes, Y18. Uh, J. Crew Men's 100% Lamb's Wool V neck sweater. Didn't sell as well as I hoped that it would. $15.99. And I think I have a couple of dollars into this. So J. Crew stuff is really, really hit or miss me right now. I thought it would do well because of the fabric content. But for whatever reason, it sat around for a long time. So I took that best offer of $15.99 plus the shipping. Okay. <laughs> Whew. All right, next we're looking for U13. This is gonna be a Disney denim. There you are, I see you. Disney denim, very, very glittery and sparkly for, ho for the holiday season. It is a Mickey and Minnie Christmas, like mistletoe themed button up denim shirt. So super cute, sold for full asking price of 25 on Poshmark. Well, I had about a buck 87 into this as well. So a decent sale there. All right, this is another one that sold really quickly in just a day or two. It is a Talbot's maxi skirt, kind of like a faux suede look to it. Red, perfect for the holiday season. Sold for, I think, 14 plus shipping on a best offer from somebody. This was a good one as well to use the keyword modest because it was full length without any splits or anything. So that's always a keyword that you can kind of play with. I find that that helps a lot as long as it's appropriate for the item. So, dun, dun, dun. All right, and the final item is in Chunky Sweater Bin. Um, and it is this one right here. It is a lamb's wool blend Abercrombie and Fitch striped, like cozy, chunky sweater. Bought it for less than a dollar and it sold for 16 plus shipping. Okay, so that is everything grabbed for Sunday night shipping. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the laundry basket, take it upstairs to my office, print my labels, package things up. Like I said, it should be fairly simple today because the majority of it is clothes, which is just give it a lint roll, fold it up, pop it in a poly mailer, it's on its way. Hello, you guys. Welcome to Tuesday night's shipping so um between sunday nights we've got sunday night and then monday and then today tuesday i've had 14 sales 10 of those are on ebay four are on poshmark majority of which are hard goods and um, so what i'm going to do now here on a tuesday night <laughs> I'm gonna pull all the items. Um, fair warning, I'm not feeling my best. I've got a terrible headache today. Uh, I'm not sick, I just, I have a neck injury and for whatever reason, it's been triggered. So I'm not feeling amazing. Um, and I have the most complicated things, I think, to ship that I've had in a while. You'll see when I show them to you. So unfortunately, I think this is gonna take a little while. Send help. Um, but yeah, let's just grab some items and let's see if we can get this done nice and quickly. And then that way I can sit down for the evening. <laughs> Truth be told, I kind of wish I'd broken it into half and shipped yesterday. I usually do like the next day shipping even though I have a two day handling time, but I'm currently working on some sponsored content in partnership with a company. And so I have a few more like deliverables than I usually do. And I had a video to edit that needed to go up at five and it is currently 6.15 and it's rendering right now. Um, needless to say, I am super far behind on everything. So here we are just trying to catch up. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna grab is a tea towel it's brand new with tags i paid one dollar oh that was good <laughs> one dollar 
at a yard sale it's like got a saying about a ship i don't know ulster weavers um i paid a dollar it sold for 19.99 plus shipping as well before i put it in here i'm going to show you exactly what i have in here um these are things that i only just listed which is why they're here i didn't have a chance to put them away yet and they already sold which is always nice we have a land's end purple turtleneck sweater we have a vintage teal sweater nothing particularly interesting about this one i just thought that it was a cool color and that's all for 15 oh and this one sold for 18 the land's end and then this one sold within moments of being listed um it was from my ugly sweater haul that i think just went up as a yard sale with me video um it has flowers it has hearts all over the back it was very very cool i think this ended up being about 75 cents or so at a yard sale and it sold for 40 dollars plus shipping like i said almost instantly Whew. all right let's keep going okay the next thing that has sold is clifford back here he is a sort of figural backpack he is true vintage i paid i think between one and three dollars i can't remember exactly he sold for 15 plus shipping i have one breakable but i'm coming back to that i just can't handle it right now um okay so shoes let's do some shoes so i sold a pair of converse they were men so i think they are down here if i look closely yes they are these are the ones uh where they are blue and black all right i paid three dollars for these at a yard sale and they sold for 22 dollars plus shipping somewhere in here i have some vintage christmas bells i hear them ah Oh my days um okay i paid a dollar for these and they sold for 16 dollars on poshmark which i think goes to show that you can sell almost anything on poshmark if i was a jewelry box where would i be there <laughs> oh god okay hang on let me move this if you're new here this is not how my inventory usually looks I've just sourced and listed a lot recently and I'm not up to date with my organization. More for me because it is the Christmas season. So we're just trying to work with it at this point. This is what I need right back here. All right, I managed to get this out. Somewhere in here is a little necklace and that is what I am looking for. There's all kinds of like pins and odds and ends in here. I know we've got some glasses. Last one, it's a charm. All right. Uh, this is ah, a little fossil necklace that says fly free. This was actually completely free to me at a yard sale. The woman just told me to take it with me and this sold for $12 plus shipping. I can lay it carefully on Clifford there. All right, I did manage to get this out of the breakable pile while I was in there. It is a vintage Tennessee Volunteers mug marked on the bottom with 81. I paid a dollar for this and it sold for 20 plus shipping. Okay, the next item is one of the ones that I am dreading shipping the most. It is this guy tucked under here. He is a 1990s, let me turn him around so you can see him in his full glory, <laughs> um, Trendmaster Talking Pumpkin. He does work and he's going to have to be boxed very carefully because he is all foam. Um, so I'm kind of dreading him a little bit, but he's not the one that I'm most concerned about. I'll show you that one next. Oh, and for anyone wondering, he sold for $40 plus the shipping. Okay, here is the big one. Um, hmm, so these are longer burger like basket canisters they do have all the actual canisters inside i paid 30 dollars for the set of three at a yard sale it sold for 135 plus the shipping and obviously i already have my box like um selected i just need to bubble wrap the heck out of them um but yeah it's still going to take me a little while i'm sure <laughs> okay this is definitely gonna have to be a couple of trips up to my office today all right i have one handbag up here that sold it is this one right here naturally under the pile of other handbags okay this one is a think geek handbag um i picked this up at a yard sale that was my favorite yard sale i've ever been to it's just full of cool stuff um and it's a handbag of holding so dungeons and dragons style it's complete but it does have a little bit of damage so it sold for 35 and i paid i think two dollars for that all right and here we are looking for m2 there we go 
Um, so this is an Anthropology Girls of Savoy, just like a sheath dress or kind of like a wiggle dress, colour block. Um, bought it at a thrift store for I think about $3.50 because it was 50% off day and it sold for $18 on Poshmark plus the shipping of course. All right, so that is everything that I needed to grab down here but I do have one more item that sold that is my best sale so far of this week and that is upstairs in my office already. Okay, and this is the last item that sold. Um, I think I need all the tissue paper. It is a vintage Maurice Rentner dress. Um, I bought this for $6.99 at the Goodwill. It sold once on Etsy for $200. They didn't like it, they returned it. Um, and it sold again on eBay, this time for best offer of $150. So not bad for a vintage dress. All right, and now it is time to pack all the things. <laughs>